Let's go all the way back to March 2019, my very first Lido Sower visit. Uh, and of course, I picked up quite a few things as per tradition. And one of those things happened to be a Lido City storefront, which just blew my mind at the time. It's set 40305. It had a white exterior, two stories, and a mini city, city display, which I thought was really cool. Just the fact that you can convey a city scene in such small detail is really cool. Um, and of course, I expanded upon the idea in my future one. Uh, but I really liked this, 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 the concept of the set overall, even though this one wasn't very uh, in-depth, you know, uh, it was just basically a doll front. Uh, but that was all, all good, um, because I was able to modify it with all of my own pieces. Um, so uh, then came along set 60097, the Lido City Square, which I kind of bought piecemeal through BrickLink, thankfully, uh, because it was a little too expensive. It had too many uh, other things I just did not care about. Inside it had a little store, and um, well, of course, that was the one thing I bought. Uh, it had two stories, a brick exterior, a couple of really cool stickers uh, that I was able to use in my the one I have now, uh, and a couple of mannequins, which I thought was a unique concept. Mannequins of a couple of uh, past Lego themes. At the time of my first Lego store, um, it was next to a city park, which uh, was my kind of excuse to have um, just a bunch of kids to play around and kind of minifigure themed um, uh, outfits and things. But now that I had mannequins inside the store, I could also reference, um, you know, Mtron and the castle themes all more appropriately. So anyway, uh, enough really duffing about these old sets, even though they're really cool and you should definitely buy some. Um, but yeah, they're really cool. Um, but what's really cool is something that you can make yourself. So uh, let's just uh, show off what I made. Alright, without further ado, here's the current version of my Lido store. Um, it was currently one single floor, although a couple of previous versions were uh, ballsy enough to be two-story tall. That's back when it was a single 16x32 base plate. Now that is a full 32x32 32 32, a red base plate, uh, I was able to expand the whole thing out onto a single floor plan. And, you know, I was able to retain a little bit of the signature uh, Lido store brick, you know, our store is a massive brick, ha 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 ha, joke that they have got going on with like every single one of their stores. It's cool. Uh, I know I'll really love it, but it's kind of, I don't know, a little overdone, but whatever. Uh, it's, 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 it's all in good fun because you kind of expect these things after going to a Lego store. Uh, like you expect to see a massive rendition of one of their bricks uh, just kind of floating around somewhere. Um, and in this case, uh, this was in one of the aforementioned met and one of the aforementioned sets. Um, and it was up on the roof, and I felt it was better off on the side here next to the ATM so people would know exactly what they're buying, you know, uh, as if uh, the massive uh, over over localization uh, wasn't wasn't enough. Uh, anyway, uh, we have this massive storefront here, a um, massive window storefront. It has the Micro City, which I will share with you in a minute, and the two minifigures uh, being the display mannequins. I hope they aren't real people, um, but if so, they are being paid very well uh, be to stand there all day while people walk in and walk out. Uh, just not flinching uh, that you know this is almost like the Royal Guard in that case if uh, if these were real minifigure people but uh, I like to imagine that they're, they're just dummies you know hopefully uh, but yeah so going all the way around here just on the exterior you can see that I was able to uh, kind of finesse up my uh, the walls here with a whole bunch of these kind of uh, grill uh, one by two plates or uh, one by two bricks and then a couple of these really funky uh, uh, well, now that I dropped it on a white background. Oh, there it is. Uh, these really funky little pieces here and uh, a few of the uh, cheese slopes here. Um, you can kind of see on the side uh, where this building face butts up against another building. You can see kind of my method here. Uh, I would have these kind of washing machines uh, um, uh, bricks kind of inserted inside of the wall, cheese slope on top, and then we would have that funky piece up on top to kind of give a nice crenellation to the front uh, corner of the building. Uh, this used to be standing by itself, so that's why I had to go all the way around with all of the, uh, with all these cool little things. And if only I had counted or taken into account the fact that I would uh, eventually put these up against uh, another building. But oh well, you know, at least I have the spot in case I decide to convert it back. So that's always a good thing, right? Uh, and I'm sure, and I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why I have SP up here. And I, as I explained in one of my, one of my previous videos, uh, this is one of the last remaining parts um, from my childhood. Uh, this was one of the remaining uh, uh, just r random parts from my little childhood. 
Um, I'm not really sure what SP is, but for the longest time, just this one little part here would be floating around in my small Lido tub. And out of respect, out of the fact that it had lasted literally for God, 20 years, uh, just being undestroyed at that point, uh, I decided uh, I would just uh, just let it be. And so now I have my own big old Lido city, and I am able to commemorate it. And it's uh, in, a, in a fine way on top of the Lego store. So uh, that's really cool, you know? Uh, that the fact that I have a whole bunch of myself behind it kind of partying around, it, it kind of gives added significance. It's kind of like uh, a tie into my childhood, you know? It's kind of nostalgic in that way. Um, but yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's just get right on inside. So the whole roof comes off in one big old piece, thankfully, um, because I'm not sure how else I would be able to do this whole thing uh, if it was all segmented off in a weird way. Um, but yeah, looking inside this thing, we can see uh, that I was able to make better use of the red base plate than uh, previously previously thought. Uh, originally, it was a tan base plate, and it just ugh, it was gross. Um, but yeah, so it looks way more Lido-y now that it has a red base, a red base plate, red floor, red carpeting. That's uh, Lido seems to be focused around red and yellow, and you know the primaries, the good fun colors. Um, but yeah, so uh, looking around here, we can see that uh, a lot of the a lot of the uh, usual attributes of Lego stores are certainly present. Uh, so in, all the way in the back, well, first of all, here's their traditional red brick. They always end up having a little red brick somewhere in the front of the store. Uh, here's a very helpful greeter here. He's, he's helping somebody find something. Um, there, there's always a 2x4 uh, red brick somewhere in the store, and I decided to stick it right up in the very front, right by the main catch register, just, um, so people... Uh, just so the, the, uh, they can hide the catch register behind it and, uh, you know, have a freed up uh, retail space here. Uh, there's a couple of little uh, um, jumper plates here so I can put a couple of the uh, uh, random uh, minifigure sets here that they come, that come with a couple of different, well, increasingly more and more sets over the years. Um, so, as you can see along the wall, I've added a few spots where I've gotten plenty of them. So, um, Anyway, continuing on back, we have the uh, build a minifigure uh, area. We have a couple people building a little minifigure. Um, can't really tell what they're building, but it looks like they're having fun at least. All the way in the back, we have the picker brick wall and the picker brick cups. Wow, say that three times fast. Uh, so you can pick all your bricks to your bricks delight and whatever. And um, yeah, hopefully but not buy too many, but uh, you can never have too many bricks. Uh, yeah, all the way back here, uh, all the way in the back is a kind of micro-scale uh, Hogwarts castle, uh, done in the kind of like weird little scale where the building's tiny, but then the people are kind of big. I don't know. Um, I kind of thought of it halfway through because I needed something to fill in the spot, and I had plenty of these little tiny um, little Hogwarts people. Oh, I just happened to pick up Harry. What do you know? Um, hi, Harry. How you doing? Anyway, just sit over there because I can't put you back at the, at the moment. Uh, going around the, on the side here, uh, we can see all of these other um, all these other uh, themes and whatnot. Line in the back wall. Let's try to zoom in here. There we go. There's uh, Lego City there. There's a full six Lego City uh, sets. There's a whole bunch of creator. Next to Sim Junior, uh, I know they redid those, uh, so technically we don't have Junior brand anymore, but that's still fun. Um, I forget what they call it, classic now, maybe? Um, whatever. Uh, and then next to that, of course, is Friends, because we can't leave out uh, Friends fans around here, because I've bought a few Friends, fan, uh, Friends sets, and uh, they're really quite fun. Um, they have a lot of good building blocks and uh, unique colors and whatnot, so I'm not disowning them at all. They deserve their rightful place in my store. So, anyway, um, we can see here we have the uh, kind of uh, building area of, of the store. A lot of people having fun just building their own little things. Uh, we can see just somebody having a fun time building a tank. Um, there's somebody building a little person. And then the Eiffel Tower next to that. So that kid right there is just a pro compared to everyone else on that table. Just, geez. Uh, anyway, um, now that we're zoomed in a little bit and turning around here, we can see the people at the front desk. We can see the fact that they're this kid is just so ecstatic getting his brand new Lego set, and his mom is just happy to provide. And I just love that little scene right there. That's just a a little wholesome thing. Um, that's nice. Um, anyway, uh, since I won't be able to properly share with you with it in the store, uh, thankfully I made it so that. 
it can pop out easily. Um, this is a mini, skater, mini scale, or I guess micro scale version of uh, the next nearest big city to me. If you're able to guess what it is, cheers to you. Uh, but I won't be disclosing it right now. Uh, but suffice to say, it is, uh, it's quite a hilly city. Let's just say that. Anyway, uh, I love the idea of building stuff in a micro scale, especially a city, and especially using a lot of little parts that you know I otherwise wouldn't have any use for. And not to mention uh, the fact that it made me scrounge for a couple parts that I didn't have, like these green little uh, cone shapes, because, God, those are just so hard to find. Uh, but I like the fact that you're able to suggest minimally with certain uh, shapes, like this, uh, this factory here, uh, this uh, scenic building, uh, a few other little things around here. Um, I like this thing back here being a little little tower, but <laughs> it's a little, little switch. Uh, good times, good times. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's just uh, just take another look at uh, a few of the people on the inside here. Um, yeah, that guy, is, that guy, who's definitely not Benny, is having a lot of fun with his attack helicopter. Oh, I forgot uh, entirely to show you this side. Um, here we have a construction worker actually uh, working with a hidden side a hidden side set. Uh, I guess he's capturing a couple of ghosts or something. Uh, that's of course like I think that's the haunted train set um, as as my in micro scale. Um, over there is a couple of other other sets, a uh, big bulldozer, a couple of uh, just rescue sets and whatnot. And then of course my entire Ninjago line. Um, there's a whole bunch of Ninjago characters down there. Uh, and a whole bunch of Ninjago boxes and sets and things up top. I really like the little skeleton dudes. Those are really cool. Um, if they had a massive min... I guess they wouldn't call them minifigures. A uh, maxi figure? Maximum figure? Something like that. And if they had a larger figure of one of those, I would buy it. Without a doubt. Because who can't, who can't say no to happy skeletons? Uh, but yeah. So uh, that's the inside of my Lego store. All right, and there we go. There's my Leto store and my Leto city. Kind of a nice wrap up there. Uh, here we go. Um, basically, it looks like there's a massive line now that I've uh, put the Leto store back in its place. Well, it seems that a lot of people wanted to place their orders, but uh, due to my, its absence from the city, uh, that wasn't able to be. Uh, that wasn't able to happen. So uh, sorry, guys. Hopefully, that didn't mess up your daily quota or whatever, or uh, leave anyone disappointed out in the line there. Uh, but yeah, so uh, but thank you for joining me in this nice little escapade into my own mocks in my city and whatnot. Uh, if you'd like to see some more of my mocks and whatnot, uh, be it in my city or outside, uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you next time. Until then, bye!